GPT 5.2 is built for actual work, not just shiny demos. It beats human experts on 70% of the tasks like spreadsheets, presentations, document creation, all assessed according to expert human judges as per their GDP val. And here's the crazy part. Just one year ago, hitting 88% score on Arc AGI, the benchmark that tests if a model can solve things it's never seen before, costed them $4,500. Today, GPT 5.2 scores 90% for $11. That's 390 times cheaper in 12 months throwing less compute, and getting higher scores. But it's still not cheap. Pretty similar price to Gemini 3, but it's almost 40% more expensive than GPT-5. Which is why I think this was the real GPT-5 launch, but OpenAI couldn't release it earlier as it's too inefficient and expensive. But now, they're forced to do that, to steal the hype away from Google. GPT-5.2 comes in three flavors. Instant, which is speed optimized, thinking for complex tasks, and pro for maximum quality all with knowledge cut-off dates in August 2025, which is the most recent out of all models. Also, remember context rot? Models getting dumber the longer the context? Well, GPT 5.2 maintains near 100% accuracy on long context benchmarks, so they basically almost solve the problem of long context windows. So if you're working with long reports, contracts, multi-file projects, it stays coherent instead of getting dumber halfway through. What about hallucinations? They cut that by 30%. OpenAI last week declared Code Red to emphasize its attention on the consumer use cases. But it looks like the launch of GPT 5.2 is geared more towards enterprise. But here's how everyone will benefit. General users will be incredibly pleased with an overall smarter model. Business users finally get a model that can handle real work. Developers can go very far with one-shot prompts. Researchers will be the most pleased, especially those who rely on the pro model. And Keep in mind that Sam Altman says that they have a Christmas surprise for us.